Well, I have largely used hand tools except for someone gave me a set of uh, tools for electric uh, attachments and stuff, but you're at the mercy of the RPMs. Uh, but this way, I can go as fast, as slow as I want to. Sometimes I have an idea, sometimes I don't. But my concept is mostly weight and space. And uh, so I start from that idea and, and add on. Being able to experience Thad's work in his studio is like taking a walk through the forest. It's this forest of Thad's sculptures. Uh, you can see the different instruments in his studio uh, that he's used to shape and form these works. His sculpture is so elemental. We see freestanding sculptures carved from wood, but we feel abstractions that exist with the energy and dynamism of living things. Wooden limbs and trunks of trees breaking loose and reaching out with a kind of exuberance and joy. Thad is one of the most unique artists working today. And he's drawn from so many different places and you can see that the mechanics of that, not only in the works, but in the kind of collaged and collected images that are installed on his wall. Or there's one piece in his studio that is an assembly of tiny sort of glass sculptures that are not shown quite frequently, but I think they sort of reveal this sense of world building that that has kind of always pursued through material. You'll see some of these shapes might remind you some of the Noguchi stones. <laughs> Thad's work is very much inspired by Noguchi. They were first craftsmen before they were even artists and not thinking about how others perceived their work. I think when you think of Noguchi, you know he must have had a lot of fun doing some of the things he did. One of my favorite things was the fountains in Osaka. I, I really loved seeing the play with the water and different ideas there. His mind was so vast and we did so many, so many things. As a long time admirer and student of Noguchi, that has worked for so long with moments of public attention and quietude. And so it's really amazing that he's receiving this acclaim in his lifetime and can see that closing of a kind of loop of continuity that he's always known and sort of celebrated. I don't get excited about too many things in my old age, but I am very excited about this award.